Good morning, folks. You have probably heard about the latest mass animal deaths in the same place as the hundreds of dead dolphins. We now have hundreds of dead pelicans. Very sad. This article is another black eye for dark matter. This clustering presents a problem for the standard theory. This is a good article on how the Arabian Desert may not have been so dry not too long ago. Here is the storm watch areas for today. No excuses if you live in this area. Be ready. Be sure to check Torcon as it's updated minutes after the two minute news. Here is yesterday's Torcon forecast for today. In New Jersey, a nuclear reactor unexpectedly shut down. They declared an unusual event and claimed no danger to the public. We also had a small cluster of seismicity in the U.S. breadbasket. The induction magnetometer is showing a fairly normal PC1 pulsation with some background resonance, but it's not just at one frequency. You can see a number of the frequency bands identified by Jack Lee still providing avenues for temporal variation here. Taking a quick look at Ovation Prime, very mild particle bombardment, if at all. Having a look at the northern part of the sun, there's not much going on. A few filaments on the northwestern limb, and you can see a little active region turning in on the far left. It's much more exciting down south. Big active regions spread over a good size area. You can see a coronal hole popping up from the south pole of the sun. And to the right of it, you can see a little hider flare. It might be difficult to pick out, but you don't really have much to worry about with this anyway. If you missed it last night, there's a video. It'll be the first one below. It is a significantly simplified version of the quake correlate video uh, using only magnitude 8 quakes or higher. It's much easier to understand. Stepping outside this evening, we'll reveal the moon next to Mars. In another two or three days, it will be over next to Saturn, kicking off our nearly month-long quake watch in May with the moon's yearly perigee, the closest it will be to Earth, combined with a full moon just two minutes later. That's actually about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on May 5th because of the time zones. This coronal hole will be facing Earth by then, and she hasn't shrunk a bit from her last pass. That's the news, folks. Be safe, everyone.